Hello, Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead and East Fork Christmas Tree Farms. We're going to start a little experiment today. I honestly have no idea if this is going to do any good or not, but what I am doing, I have a couple liter bottles, two liter bottles, whatever it is, I don't drink pop, uh, that the kids have donated to me. I'm going to cut the back side off. I'm going to take the lid off and I'm going to stick a stake through this so that it is in the ground right next to some of my uh, trees that I just planted this last year. And then I will fill it full of water. The goal is, and I don't know how well this is going to work, you know, it depends on how thick your soil is and how packed it is around there. But the goal is to have this compacted into the soil enough that this will drain over the course of a few days, uh, not just minutes, and then it'll keep the soil moist uh, around the tree for an extended period of time. And then when I come back around a week or two later, I can do it again. And my contention is that these young trees, as it's been very dry already this year, five weeks without rain, and then we had a real nice rainstorm last Saturday. People during graduation party didn't like it, but uh, we had maybe a half inch of rain, got some moisture down on the soil. There is moisture in the soil now, but it's going to keep drying out. And my belief is that the trees that have this water on it will grow longer into the summer than the trees that don't. Do I know that? No, but uh, I'll show you how I'm sticking these in the ground today and I'll keep you updated towards the end of the summer on the results. So as I'm cutting the bottle and showing you how I'm putting the bottles in the ground, people are asking, well, if you want a couple liters of water in the ground, why don't you just pour it over it and that'll work. But uh, the big difference here is it, if you just pour a couple liters of water on the ground, it tends to run away from the tree and not have enough in it one area that it saturates and goes down into the soil. This gets it a couple inches down where the not, where the top of the bottle is anyway, and it does it over time in one area. So well, I'm hoping it'll get water down deeper into the ground doing it this way. You can see I took some soft dirt from the molehill there and uh, put it around it. We're going to get this wet to make it so it's a little bit more solid and seals up and water just doesn't run out and we'll press it down in. So the top of the bottle is probably three inches below the surface of the ground right now. So we're injecting water, for lack of better terms, down into the root system. All right, here we go. We've got seven of these in the ground for today. This is the one that's draining the fastest. It's been about 15 minutes. And it's gone down about half inch. The goal, or the hope, is that these bottles would drain out over the course of a few days and just put moisture in the ground. But uh, having caked mud around it, stick in there, I don't know how fast this is going to drain or how it's going to drain. Quick update, the, the bottles that I set out there a little over 24 hours ago, one bottle had drained completely into the soil. Most of the rest of them were at about half full. So uh, I like it draining at about that rate, so it'll take at least a few days. Uh, in a perfect world, I'd have that drain out over three or four days. But uh, anyway, I'll have more updates as we go on. I don't have video of those bottles because Barry just sent me the report. I wasn't actually out in the field yesterday. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this experiment is just I, I, I want to learn, I want to gain knowledge on what you can do. People are like, why don't you put an irrigation system out there? We, we just don't have access to that water out here. Uh, there's a home on the property, but there's enough water in the well for that. We're, we don't have water to irrigate uh, the, several acre, the many acres of Christmas trees that we have. I know a lot of you do have that, and I, I've uh, been listening to and reading about some people that have... Uh, the ability to do drip irrigation and they're putting like i'm putting six gallons of water a day down on the trees and like uh you know that's you know you could put a thousand trees in a six gallon bucket but uh well these baby trees so uh, you know maybe they're doing the larger trees they don't need that much but i i'm hoping that uh to show that i if i just have a, a little bit of moisture staying in the ground that the trees will keep growing a little bit longer into the summer and if it turns out to be a really dry summer which it Looks like it might be turning out to be. Uh, they might just have a greater survival rate, but we'll soon find out. Uh, my One of my bigger concerns is I don't know how to control the drip rate, you know, because I've created some mud and I pushed it down in there, and then that made a pretty hard seal with the stick in there. There's not much surface area, because but 
that's a good thing, bad thing. I don't want the water to just run out. I would like it to seep out over the course of a few days, if not uh, a, a little bit longer than that. But I do want it to go out. I don't want it to just sit in the bottle and uh, be wet right there. But uh, we'll soon find out how well it drips and then uh, give us a month or two and we'll see if it made a difference in our young trees. Once again, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon. Be blessed, everyone.